everybody Hello. and welcome to a new video on our DC vs. Marvel series. Um, The ongoing DC vs. Marvel series. That's been going on for over a month. Which is getting longer and longer. And we have to be very quiet right now because um, it's, it's actually nighttime. <laughs> it is too. And we're recording. Yes, we are. And yeah. our family is sleeping. Yes. So we need to do it before we went to sleep so we could get this video up before Monday. Exactly right. Yes, to meet our Sunday deadline. Yeah. Yes. So who's up today, Mace? Today we will be pitting against each other Young Justice Season 2 against The Defenders. The Defenders. From Marvel. From Marvel. And we're going to be pretty much using the um, Netflix original series characters uh, in the Defenders. Yes. The Defenders in the comic were very, very different. So basically, but, that will be Iron Fist, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage versus Blue Beetle, um, Beast Boy, yeah. um, uh, Lagoon Boy, and Impulse. Yes, okay. Oh, wait, no, no. Is there a fifth member to the Defenders that you could possibly add in? Um, we can. We can add. Um, I don't know if she's going to appear in the Defenders yet. She hasn't been in the series, but Patsy Walker. Robin. We need Robin. You need Robin. Yes, yes. So if you include Robin, we could include Patsy Walker, who was Hellcat in the comic books. Okay, Hellcat. Yeah. All right. First so fight, works. Iron Fist versus Blue Beetle. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Swinging right out of the gate with the, this matchup, I think. Blue Beetle, a.k.a. Yeah. Jaime Reyes. Yes. Um, he's caught in an, an accident where an explosion at Star Labs caused an explosion, of course. Okay. And sending the scarab on his back, flying out the window. Picked it up to investigate it. His shirt was on fire, so he ripped it off. Uh, he picked it up to investigate it. It, he started moving, climbed up his arm onto his back, uh, pinched his back, <laughs> and now it's forever stuck on him. That... That was a good synopsis. I think you covered everything. Blue Beetle's powers. Are, yes, I was just going to say, what are his powers? So, Blue Beetle's powers in are he can fly using his beetle wings. His armor can regenerate. Yep. Um, and he can do, like, sonic booms, sonic blast waves, and just literally rockets. Yep. Oh, he can also make, like, a hyper beam from Pokemon. Oh, 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 I didn't know that. Okay, a surprise. All right. Okay, so on to Iron Fist. Yes. Danny Rand is Iron Fist's real name. He is a, well, he's a billionaire to start off with. <laughs> um, his parents were killed in a plane crash. He was on the same plane, and he was found in, in Tibet, Tibet area. And was then adopted raised, by monks. Adopted by monks, raised by monks, in a sort of interdimensional um, city called Kunlan. And there he was trained, uh, and excelled at the training so much he decided he wanted to be the immortal Iron Fist. So he, he chose that. He, well, he advanced his training to the point where he was. He competed with everybody else to make sure he was the best so that he would be the one to uh, become the to immortal, become immortal Iron, Iron Fist. Fist. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, very, very intensely trained. What he's are his powers? Probably, um, yes, so his powers. He's probably the most proficient at martial arts in the Marvel Universe. I, would, I think we'd have to argue that. He's probably the, the expert. I can't think of anyone else who would be up there. He also has the ability to harness his chi. Chi. Which is what gives not, him... That's actually not made up. It's not. No, no, you're right. You're right. Um, some people, life... some monks can harness that power to create fire. Yes. Um, any, and anybody can really center their chi. Um, most people do it to calm themselves, to soothe themselves. Um, uh, it energizes you. So How does he it, harness it to his hand? Can I do Okay, no, they, do that? that's, that's not what most people in real life can do. That's, um, th that is where it becomes fiction. Uh, so yes, he can harness his chi to the point where he harnesses it and then focuses it into his hand. Does his hand and that becomes ba basically become iron? Well, it's, it's, it doesn't really become iron, 
But the point being that it's as hard as iron when he punches you, that kind of idea. Um, so iron, yeah, so Iron Fist, has, that's his most obvious power, is that when he harnesses his chi, his hand begins to glow, and he can harness it into a punch or a blow, a karate chop. Um, and can it block anything? Yes, he's used it to block swords. Can he's it used block, it to block bullets. Can it block a hyper beam? I believe, well, I guess we'd have to watch that battle and find out. We'd have to find out. Um, but it's immensely powerful. Um, his punch has been seen to damage incredible, incredible things. Um, he punched Luke Cage in the face, and Luke Cage, with his super strength and unbreakable skin, Danny was actually able to um, just absolutely clock him, knock him right off his feet. I have my boats. That is in the Defenders, but it, in the Defenders series. In the comic books, he attempted to punch the Hulk. The Hulk actually just grabbed his hand right out of the air, picked Danny up and threw him. So there's limits to it, obviously, but the Hulk is, that's kind of your upper tier. I have um, my vote. You have your vote? Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, I, I, I have my vote. I think this would be a close one, but I think I have my vote. Three, two, one. Blue Beetle. <laughs> Danny Rand. Blue I'm Beetle. Just... Okay. Let's hear why. Let's hear why. Danny is pretty much a normal human, but with yes. his chi at his hands. Yes. He cannot fly. No, no, he cannot fly. Blue Beetle can fly. If Blue Beetle was in the air, he let his scarab take control of him, which is something I forgot to mention. <laughs> his scarab is basically the strongest, the, the second strongest weapon in the entire universe. Really? Okay, I didn't know that. The strongest okay. weapon is the Green Lantern Ring, of course. Of, of course. Okay, so the, really, so the scarab is second next yeah. to the Green Lantern Ring? Yes. Wow, wow, okay. Um, and basically, if his scarab was able to take control of him, then Iron Fist would not stand a chance. Interesting. Okay. Um, I, I believe just all that's true. Just watch him just a season two if you want to see <laughs> what happens. Okay. I believe all that's true. Um, I do think that if Danny can hit Blue Beetle, he can hurt him. And I do think that Danny's martial arts ability, um, would give him... The ability to evade many of Blue Beetle's attacks. I think he'd be able to use Blue Beetle's and the Scarab's power against himself. How? Well, that's the that's the essence of judo, of which is one one martial art, and How about it's using your opponent's draw? force against him. Well, no, no, I'm trying to consider the fact: is the Scarab a powerful enough weapon that eventually Danny wouldn't be able to overcome it? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, possibly. Okay, let's give. You know what? I will. I will seed this one to you, Yay. and let's uh, let's give this one to Blue Beetle. Yay! Yeah. One other thing I did mention about Danny, though, he can use his chi to heal himself and others too. Really? Cool. Yes. Yes. All right. So, uh, battle two. Battle two. Let's get uh, Daredevil. All right. Daredevil versus um, Impulse. Okay. Impulse, a.k.a. Bart Allen, a.k.a. Grandson of Barry Allen. The oh, Flash. Okay. Um, okay. Bart grew up in a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic fantastic uh, the world where Blue Beetle ruled over everything. Oh, really? Oh, yes. excuse me, I'm sorry. See, it is late. We did say it at the beginning of the video. It was late, so now I'm yawning. Okay. And, ba and basically, that's how he grew up all the time. A grandfather was killed by Blue Beetle. Man. And, um, yeah, he's basically the exact same as Flash. Yes, okay. But well, a lot younger. But a lot younger. Okay, okay, this is going to be a tough one. Okay. Um, we've discussed Daredevil before in the video. I'm pretty, I, I, sure we have. No, we haven't done the Thunders. I, why am I thinking we've talked about Matt? I, we've got to go back and watch some of the other videos. I'm sure we've talked oh, about Oh, wait, Matt no, Matt. that was in our, war, that was in our Civil War, basically. Daredevil we was did. in the Civil War. Yes, we did. But I'm sure we did in other videos anyway. But anyway, okay, Matt Murdock. Um, he's a blind ninja. He is a lawyer. Um, he does not have any superhuman physical abilities, but he does have superhuman senses. 
his senses are not only heightened, I would argue they're maybe the sharpest um, senses in the Marvel Universe, even more so than someone like Wolverine. Or Spider-Man. Or Spider-Man, um, with the exception that Spider-Man has a spider sense, which is maybe a little different than... Matt Murdock has radar sense um, okay. because his five senses, or sorry, his four senses, because he can't see, um, work together so so well that he basically gets um, a picture of the world that's much more clear than somebody who just can see. Um, so that is what makes Daredevil so dangerous, is that not only is he able to perceive... The world around him and anticipate somebody else's actions hey, hey, no. um, he is an exceptionally well-trained fighter a brilliantly well-trained fighter um, Electra in, and I think I said this before Electra in the Defender series refers to Matt oh no sorry in the second season of Daredevil refers to Matt as the best fighter she knows and Electra was able to single-handedly out for just one time she was able to single-handedly take down all four of the Avengers. Um, so I have my there vote. we go. So there's there's Matt. Oh, I have my vote. I know what your vote's gonna be too. Okay. Three, three, two, three, two, one. Impulse. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. I have to go with that. Impulse is just too fast. I have to agree with that. Yes, Matt. Just Matt is not Matt is not really super powerful. And if. And if Matt Murdock were to get a hold of Impulse, he could just vibrate his molecules right out of him. Possibly. But I also think that Matt is... Matt's heightened senses, his sense of touch, would be able to tell that um, Barry Allen was doing that before, that Impulse was doing that before. And before he even really had the chance to, and I think Matt would use his superior fighting abilities to, to stop incapacitate him. him. Yeah, oh. but that all depends on the ability of Matt to actually all end right. up in a situation where he can catch. I, impulse. And I think we need to put this so into we'll, two parts. Okay, let's go on to the second part then. Thank you for watching this episode, and we will see you in the next one with three more battles. I think. Bye. Bye.